The Wicklow Way is the oldest and probably the most beautiful hiking trail in Ireland, starting in South Dublin and crossing the entire county of Wicklow through dense forests and the Wicklow Mountains. It takes around 5-7 to seven days for the entire 130 kilometers, but I would only be doing the first 50 kilometers from Dublin to Glendalough, which is also meant to be the most scenic part. If you're planning on hiking this part as well, I've added some tips on how to get there and where to camp in the description below. I'm not even one minute into the trail and I'm already in this beautiful spot in the middle of Mali Park. Um, I just got my tent. Oh, it's a friend of mine's, Killian. So, today we're gonna do like, I think it's like 20 kilometers and apparently there's a really nice spot uh, down at the river where you can go camp. First part will be through Mali Park and then we'll go into the Wicklow Mountains. I'm really excited now. How is this in the middle of Dublin? Mali Park was really beautiful. Then there was a bit along the motorway, which wasn't that nice. But now I'm heading up into the mountains, which is very steep. My backpack is very heavy. I still haven't met a single person walking this trail. <laughs> like there were lots of people in the park, but no one's hey. actually hiking in this direction so far. And the track is now finally heading into the forest, which I'm very excited about because that's actually been one of the things that I've been missing in Dublin or in Ireland is just having forests everywhere. I made it to another lookout. You can see the Dublin Towers. We've now entered the Boglands, I believe. It's very Swampy. I've only met like two or three people along the way who were doing the Wicklow way. I met lots of hikers but they weren't doing the Wicklow, just like on day trips. Um, so I really like that it's not like packed with people. So the next spot where I can rest, I'll have some lunch. Um, because I think I'm already more than halfway. And there's sheep everywhere. Because this is Ireland. So I'm just gonna sit here with the sheep and cows everywhere. Because <laughs> I don't think there's a better space coming. I'm just gonna have an apple and one of the muffins. And then I kept on walking for like 15 minutes. Now we're in the forest again. Mm. And I stumbled across this fire pit. So this is actually a really nice camping spot. Um, I'm not gonna camp here because I've still got like three hours to go. And it's so quiet and so nice. In general, I wasn't aware how, like how few people would be on this track. And I'm loving it because it's just nice to, to be on your own. But well, just for like three days. Sort of reflective of everything last year and stuff and the weather's been amazing so far. I'm just so happy. I'm just gonna heat up the baked beans. While we're at it, I might even make a tea because why not? This thing is so cool. Okay, so. I've still got a bit, I've got a bit of water from home and I'm just gonna refill it. Now apparently you just turn this and then I'm gonna light it. It's on. I can't see the fire because it's too bright. I feel really stupid. <laughs> now it's working. I've got this really cool cup, which is just four year from Decathlon. I don't know why, I really like these camping cups. And I brought some tea bags, and the water's getting warmer, so it's working. Happy days. There's the first tea. Took like, maybe like 10 minutes for the water to heat, so, like, not 
too bad. So, the beans have cooked, and I'll just have that with a bit of pita bread. The one thing I couldn't pack was sunscreen, because that was, again, way too bulky. Um, I think I'll regret that, because I'm gonna get such a sunburn. Uh, I'm all packed up, ready to go. And it's always nice to eat stuff, because it'll be lighter. I got a gimbal out, which will make vlogging easier. So yeah, it's, I think it's another three hours, roughly, to Nokri, or like, the campsite. I already feel like I've been here for ages, it's so weird. I've only been here for like three hours. <laughs> but, yeah, it's so, so nice. Now, I don't know how clean this water is. It looks a bit yellowish. So I'm gonna use one of the water purifying tablets. I bought this at Decathlon. They were pretty expensive. It literally kills everything in there, so <laughs> you can't put this into like nature or everything will die. So, I'm just gonna pop that in there. Now we have to wait half an hour. I've actually been walking the wrong way for the last 10 minutes. <laughs> in general, it is really well signposted, but some of them are just missing, like, they should just have a few more signposts showing you where where to go. It's good I have the map saved on Google Maps because then I can always check um, if we're going the right way. I still haven't met anyone in the last two and a half hours, maybe. Okay, apparently I'm just stupid because I did not see that sign and I came from here, so I'm just blind. Uh, I'll take back what I said about the signposting, they're doing an excellent job. I'm just blind. That's why I'm with my glasses and it still doesn't help, so wish me luck. Okay, that's a fail. It's right there. I said that 15 minutes ago. I could have just walked through this way. But never mind, we learn. Honestly, if you could see the colors of this, everything just looks enchanted. I saw a lady who collected quite a few of these and it seemed like the roots might be edible, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look this up. I just got out of the enchanted forest. I'm just gonna call it like that. I'll just pretend like we're in a video game where you like enter a new territory and now I'm in a new one. So this, I don't know what this is called yet. This is like a hybrid between Bogland and, and Woodland. It, it genuinely feels like that. <laughs> just makes it more fun. I love how effortless the the Wickler Way changes from like a massive paved road into this tiny rock paved track. Like you don't even notice when it happens, you just suddenly realize that the road's gone. Definitely entering a new territory here. Um, sort of like you're walking on stones. So, change of scenery once again. Gonna go down here. I'm now like 45 minutes away from the campsite according to Google Maps. Um, so very close to Nokri. There is a youth hostel there as well, which I considered, but I actually prefer to, uh, camping. But if you're doing the Wickler Way, you can also go from hostel to hostel or like hut to hut if you're lucky. See, this is what I mean with change of scenery. It's just like a different world. These forests are dead. Um, I've heard about this somewhere, people complaining about this in Ireland that they build all these monocultures. It's kind of eerie, like such a dead forest, especially when you look at the undergrowth, it's just nothing. So, I'm almost there. We've made it from this forest down onto the plains. You can hear the river from here and just beyond there is supposed to be a place where you can go camp. Wow. 
I just can't get over how quickly the landscape changes and I love this so so much it looks like out of a movie like these open plains like this could be in like the Hunger Games or something <laughs> and then the forest there I think I found the island Kalina was talking about. He said there'd be like a small island where you can camp on. And that seems to be it. Okay, so this is definitely the island. It wasn't further up there. It's this one because there's water on both sides. And honestly, that place looks incredible. Also, the water looks like it's from Mars. It is so so beautiful so I need to get over the other side here I made it and it's completely empty so this spot is everything might have been easier to come in from that way or through there it feels like I'm in a different country it's a really weird beautiful feeling this just gets crazier and crazier I just walked up here just to see what there is and there's another freaking campsite I'm just in awe, like fully in awe. I'll either camp down here or up here. I feel like I want to be up here. I don't know why. It just seems cool. I'm in the middle of building this and I wasn't aware how big it is. I thought it would be much smaller. I am done. Took a while. Yeah, looks really sick. It's a two people one, so I have tons of space in there. But look at this view. Like, I'll open it up and then got my cooking stuff down there and we're gonna go make spaghetti <laughs> so this is where the spaghetti ended up because <laughs> I didn't have enough space and this is the tomato sauce. It's now 10 to 9. Uh, I moved everything up here. I'm um, in my tent with an amazing view. And I'm just boiling some water to make some tea and to use as drinking water for tomorrow because it is really, really murky. And I don't really like the chlorine taste of the uh, water purifying tablets. So I think it's better to just. Uh, boil it. Good morning. <laughs> I survived my first night. It was a long night. So I'm pretty much packed up. I just need to roll up the tent. Uh, I've got all my stuff here. Just made some porridge. I brought some oats. Um, and then I just used some of the river water, the boiled water, and I had a bit of banana. So it's definitely not <laughs> very tasty because I don't have milk and no sugar and no salt and no anything. But it's actually better than I expected. So I'm all ready to go. We'll leave this island behind. I just got back onto the Wicklow Way um, and we're now heading off for the second leap all the way to this hut, brush, Brushes Gap hut I think so that's gonna be our destination maybe if it rains and if I'm too tired I'll stop before that but that's the plan for today it's pretty long it's like 25 kilometers I think like it'll be even more than yesterday but so good
So I just got completely drenched <laughs> in the first proper rain um, for like an hour, but I had my raincoat, wasn't too bad. And uh, now it's sunny again. So, yeah, it wasn't that nice because there's sheep everywhere and there's sheep shit. Did you say sheep shit? Everywhere. So that's a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, you have nice views over like the Dublin Bay and this whole area. So it is pretty nice um, now that the rain's gone. It's 12.30, still got probably like half the day's trip, probably like another four hours. So for lunch, I'm just gonna have the pita bread with the leftover hummus. And this is my view. And again, scenery changes completely. We're in a dead forest again. There was a sign that said filming in progress and I asked the guy and they're filming the Vikings, like season six or something, I'm not even too sure. Uh, and I think these caravans in the back are where the actors are staying. Or like some part of the film crew. Didn't see anyone, but <laughs> kind of cool. Uh, I knew they filmed lots of bits around here, but I didn't know they were doing it right now and at this very place. So that's kind of cool. For the first time in a while, this path is a bit more interesting again. Last hour was pretty boring. We're now entering the dead woods again. I'm on the last hour to brush a gap hut. I am completely wrecked. <laughs> My feet are full of blisters. Um, here with all the sheep. But it's pretty nice here. I'm just near Old Bridge. Um, pretty much just gardens and the farms. So I'm probably only like a 10 minute walk away from the hut, which is just up there. But I saw this sign of drinking water, so I think I'm going to fill up all my bottles here. I made it to my destination. This is Bashagab Hut. Um, I honestly thought it would be a bit, <laughs> a bit bigger, a bit more fancy. I'm very happy, uh, there's no one here. There's a little bench here and a fireplace. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay in here or if I'm actually gonna use my tent because it's not that cozy. I think I might actually put up my tent somewhere in the area. Um, but it's nice because it's starting to rain now. This is today's dinner. It's just rice with the leftover tomato sauce. So I actually decided to pitch the tent. And this is a pretty nice place because it's protected by the trees. So it is raining right now, but I don't really feel it here. And also I love when it rains and you're inside of the tent. Whereas in that hut, it just feels cold. So that's it, my last night. Good morning. It's now exactly nine o'clock. I just packed up. I didn't have enough time to eat breakfast or have any tea. I also didn't have any water. So at the next river, I'm just gonna take a break and do that.
through the camera everything looks grey, but in real life this is so so beautiful. It's like very mythical and like the colours are so vibrant, but it doesn't come, come out through the camera. It's so so cool. So I found the river. It looks so so cool. I might see if I can get down there and refill my bottles and have a short break. I found the most amazing camping spot. If I do this again, I'm definitely gonna set up camp here. There's also a good spot here. This is just like five minutes up the road from where I just had the porridge. I can finally see Glenlock right there. And the sun's out. This is so, so nice. So I think I made it to the visitor center in Glenlock. And now, coming out of the forest. <laughs> That's the view. I found real toilets <laughs> back in civilization.